This week on launch, how to put your ugly mug front and center on your website, how to pull QBO Zero and Airtable data into your Google Sheets on the cheap, and Slack now lets you DM any other Slack user. Ugh. Yikes, all that and more on this week's Launch for Accountants. Fresh launch here, Coupler, that's gonna pull all of your different data sources into Google Sheets. If you thought you were a freak in the Sheets before, wait until you get your hands on this one. Solid list of integrations right now, among them QBO and Zero. We talk a lot about Google Sheet integrations. Why are Google Sheet integrations so great? Because there is so much stuff built on top of Google Sheets. Last week, we were just talking about a tool that gives you a static link to CSV download a range in your Google Sheet, kind of becoming the ultimate hub of data automation. This one even has an integration with Airtable. You know how I feel about Airtable. Coupler specifically lets you set up any number of importers or connections to your sheets, and then you set them up to run as frequently as every hour. And this thing is cheap, like accountant cheap. You only pay for rows that change on each refresh. You get your first 50,000 row updates for free. It's only 24 bucks a month thereafter for up to a half million row updates a month. So you can throw a whole bunch of client stuff onto this and you're only gonna be into it $24 a month. Give this one a look at coupler.io. Have you noticed the websites are all starting to look the same? I think they're getting better but they all look kind of like homogenized, like not a lot of personality coming through, not really a clear sense of like what makes this company unique. So how do you make your cold heartless site a little more human? With your big beautiful face, of course. Embedly puts a little video bubble in the corner of your web page. When you click on it, you get a portrait format video. I like this, seems like a nice way to cut through the kind of faceless nature of websites now. It's also a nice way to pull in context on specific pages, like your pricing page, or to introduce potential customers to their account manager over a specific service. I think anything here that gets you away from the cold, heartless, flat boilerplate websites we're seeing more and more of is gonna help that website convert. So check this one out at embed.so and your first video is free. Ghost has launched version four of its platform. It's a tool to simplify building a kind of micro blog, spitting those posts out as newsletters and even handling memberships. Now, is this a tool for accountants? Absolutely not. It was actually built for normies. But if you're looking at a new revenue stream for your firm, check out just how easy this is. Ghost has some of the basic aspects of a website builder, but centered around authoring. So it's a simple platform to build your content. And when you hit publish, you have total control over where that goes. Could simply be a newsletter blast to everybody on a list, or could go to different people depending on the membership level that they're at. I like this if you're trying to connect with a niche client base. If you're building content for your clients that you don't necessarily want to be out there for public consumption, this gives you a super professional and easy way to spin up a content hub that's gonna manage distribution and payments for you. So if you're doubling down on high effort content for your clients, consider whether that's something you just want to give away, whether a membership is part of certain service packages or whether this is even its own standalone thing. I think building and selling valuable content is no longer mutually exclusive with running your old timey accounting firm. So check this one out at ghost.org, starts at just $9 a month. Check this one out. It is a non-industry specific customer portal tool. It's gonna let you share files, e-signatures, make payments, intake forms, sending messages, help center. Now, is this a tailor-made solution for accountants? It's not. But let's break down why it's compelling anyway. This, this right here. Yeah, this is why it's compelling. They're gonna get a portal that works pretty well, makes you look professional, just doesn't use the accountant verbiage that you may be used to, but it's gonna come at around a quarter of the cost. Now that's pretty cheap. What does this portal not have right now? What are the trade-offs? Right now it's gonna be short on integrations. I'm not seeing integrations with your billing system, things like a Zapier integration you would love to see from a tool like this, but you're also getting unlimited client portals for less than $100. So have a noodle on that one and check it out at joinportal.com. Slack has introduced the next step in reinventing business communications. And most of us aren't sure whether to be excited or uncomfortable. In short, you can now send a DM to any Slack user and any other Slack organization once they've accepted an invitation to connect. As you may imagine, they've run into some controversy with this, specifically around the ability to send a message with that invitation. So any old person can still get a message to someone with the invitation itself. So if 100 people send you invites, you're gonna get 100 emails with 100 messages. 
Thankfully, it only took them a few days to disable the message aspect of invitations, but it's still missing the ability for an individual to opt out altogether. The decision is made at the organization level. Kind of seems like that should be a personal choice, right? Now, we have a number of clients who we work with over Slack. We built out kind of a separate, more high volume support team for this sort of thing. And does this add anything to that experience? I don't really know that it does because you probably still want a shared workspace if you're doing a lot of heavy lifting. I think what this probably does is takes it more down the path of a public messenger like a Facebook messenger or WhatsApp or something like that. So interesting move by Slack. Be especially interested to see if Teams does anything similar. You can read more about this update over at slack.com. Tony Nitty's got a new weekly newsletter called Nitty Gritty Tax. I love that guy. Built in partnership with Forbes, it's more of the same Tony Nitty content in a new weekly format. If you aren't familiar with Tony, he's a tax writer for Forbes, a casual extreme athlete, and minor Twitter celebrity. The news, this is a brand new publication available for $20 a month if you just weren't getting enough Tony Nitty in your life. It's the only place you're gonna get some deep tax content, some general ribbing of tax Twitter, and an outright assault on Adam Markowitz. And frankly, I'm not sure what more you could ask for than that. So check this one out at Forbes to learn more and get that one to your inbox every week. That's enough fun and games for this week. We'll be back next week. In the meantime, be sure to hit subscribe and check out our most recent videos.